Now, last month saw the largest canine rescue in the history of the state, with more than 140 dogs recovered from a rural property in Leitrim. However, despite their rescue and transfer to loving homes, many of these dogs have behavioural issues due to their treatment, which could sadly result in them ending up being put down rather than rehomed. Well, our reporter, Ashton Reardon, visited Dog Training Ireland, where the team work with dogs like the ones recovered in Leitrim. Meet Dexter and his owner, Nicole. They're spending this nice sunny morning out and about, but unfortunately it's in a restricted way as Dexter has some issues. Well, we got him um, actually exactly one year ago. Uh, I got him from a friend of mine who runs a Doberman rescue in Cork and she asked me to foster him just for a few weeks and then I fell in love with him. <laughs> um, no, when I got him he didn't have the, the aggression problem. He was actually running with other dogs at the beach and, and he was fine. But um, a few weeks after that um, we had our first incident with the dog and he just grabbed a small dog and sh shook it. So that was really horrible for me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I muscled him and didn't let him run with other dogs and um, still he showed more and more aggression. Nicole brought Dexter to Dog Training Ireland in Dublin and the team there is working with him. Good, that's it. Dexter has um, he he's, has issues with other dogs. Basically, he's he's quite reactive to other dogs on the lead and off the lead. He would lunge and bark and pull to, to get to other dogs and chase them if he was off the lead. Um, and from him, it's it's coming from a, a little bit of fearfulness, um, a bit of frustration as well, and um, a, a bit of kind of predatory behaviour on his part as well. So there's a lot going on with him. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to change his association with other dogs, so that when he sees another dog, instead of feeling all these feelings and when he feels like that he will react accordingly with the inappropriate behaviour. So what we're trying to do is um, we are modifying or changing his behaviour so that now when he sees another dog he will actually feel good and happy and calm and then if he feels like that then his behaviour will reflect that. So he's doing very well here. We have a setup situation with the, our helper dog. Um, so we are, what we were doing, we're actually pairing the other dog, which is something he currently has a negative association with, with something he really, really likes and has a good association with. And in this case, we're using some really tasty food. Um, so we present the, the bad thing followed by the good thing. And then that slowly starts to change his association with other dogs. The other dog Will then start to become a predictor that he's going to get something nice um, and, and, and that will actually start to change his emotions and change his behaviour as well. Now we're not too sure if Dexter is two or three years of age because he was a stray before going to the pound but as you can see here he's a lovely dog and he gets on well with people it's just he reacts badly to other dogs. And here are some of the possible reasons why, as we don't know Dexter's history. Well, under socialisation as a puppy is a huge, uh, a huge factor. Um, so say you might have a pup that was you know, raised in a shed and um, didn't have any interaction with any humans or any other dogs or any environmental experiences, um, you know, when they're young. And, you know, puppies, their brains are like sponges. So dogs have a, a critical time for socialising, which is between sort of three to kind of 16, 18 weeks. So they need to have lots of different experiences then um, to make them a well-rounded dog. Um, you know, other things can come into play, like, you know, temperament, you know, dogs that are genetically you know that temperamentally unsound you know that that can play a part as well and um, so there's a whole lot of things you know uh, at work there and then if a dog has a really bad experience later on in life that can actually you know cause them to be fearful as well so there's a, a lot of things going on and the behavior clinic sees many dogs that have been abandoned yeah we get dogs from lots of different rescue centers and um, dogs trust is only down the road they're our closest rescue center um, and they do amazing work they take dogs from all of the pounds around the country um, and they will have taken some of the puppy farmed dogs that we've seen recently um, and they will give them the care they need and then they will find families for those dogs and then those families come to us for training um, and daycare and grooming and all the different things that are needed for a pet dog because sadly we are 
the puppy farm capital of Europe, which is not a nice label for our country. Um, we produce lots of puppies that are sick and unhealthy, mentally unhealthy, physically unhealthy, and um, it's really not good enough.